Hi guys, it's your boy Awam Kenneth. I know, right? Like, finally I'm back again. So, I'm currently not in my white room and that is all the information I'm seeing about the wall or the color behind me. If you can remember from my previous video, this used to be my default background. So yeah, I'm back at my base. And today's video is all about how to buy cheap dollar and how to earn in dollars like within 30 days. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to give any tips or steps on how to do that. That is just a clickbait title if I ever use that for this particular video. So why I want to talk about this is due to the fact that the uncertainty or the rise in uncertainty in the world right now is high. Like even people that went to Harvard, uh, UCLA, Stanford, you schooled in South Africa, Shai, last last you did still school in, in Nigeria, you schooled somewhere abroad, right? At on seven, like health ministers don't know what they're doing. People are trying to figure this thing out, like to try to make sense of the whole thing happening right now. There is, yeah, coronavirus, like I said, the oil war or about to be oil war. Um, stock markets are just going haywire. I heard that London was like minus something. Now today, they said it has gone up into the positives. Um, Nigeria is almost at like minus something i don't even know what nigeria is minus in but i know that my portfolio in equity is like showing minus showing six percent and to be honest losing almost six thousand naira is not funny at all but you gotta do what you gotta do right so this conversation is or why i want to talk about this is the fact that one dollar is equivalent to 412 right 12 naira in the market as at last when i checked and it's just mind-boggling i thought we have left that era of buying dollars for 450 500 with good luck jonathan and no buhari and it's just quite unfortunate that this thing is coming back again right and people don't know what they're doing um access bank this year this year february was as high as 11, 10 naira per share. And right now it's trading at 5 naira, right? Owandu, the blessed child, right? <laughs> I don't know who runs that company, but you guys need to fix up, right? Owandu last year was like 9 naira, fell down to like 4, 3 naira. Right now, Owandu is a joke. It's at 1 naira for something kobo. And I'm just laughing. I'm not still going to shit and sell any of those shares there i must make my money or they must sell that company to someone or match it or something i am not losing i am refusing to sell my shares and that stuff and yeah like the whole um um thing about a barrel of crude now being less than 50 something dollars and the nigerian government trying to like re-strategize and redo their budgets for the national budget i know i mentioned budget twice there so it, it's like you can plan disneyland is closed um football stuff i don't watch football those things are like shutting down and things are, are not just being predictable anymore like you can't plan but still people are still looking for new ways to make um like say profit or gains out of these or looking for opportunities in with what is going on for companies like netflix companies that you enjoy when you stay at home they are booming for example netflix people are not watching more more videos and movies and stuff so it will make sense if your data company decides to increase their fees like yeah because there's an opportunity for them nobody wants to be bored nobody wants to be left alone to their thoughts and just laughing laughing out loud on social media and just making a mockery of this thing and also people forgetting the fact that apart from the numbers that we see on screens and on all these updates people are really dying people are really being infected families have been have been affected and stuff just like today someone's business was demolished like and because i knew that person it felt like close to home right so imagine imagine just you just you, you can't just imagine like it's so confusing that you really don't know what to do but just try to like educate yourself more on what is happening 
and there's tons of fake news out there again so the whole dollar panic right now in nigeria is scary um people are just finding new ways to either earn in dollars or just buy cheap dollars which is making the black markets like giving them easter like the easter present came early and it's unfair due to the fact that some people might lose their hard-earned savings due to this panic mode that is going on right now so imagine if you earn in dollars right that makes sense right fine keep it hold it whatever you want to do with it you earn in dollars like shall next month you still see money but if you don't earn in dollars and you earn in naira yeah if you are part of the one percent that can let's say keep 10 million naira for the next five years and you will not be bothered fine and good please buy dollars right but if you don't have that kind of money and you have like let's say less than a millionaire and you are definitely gonna have to touch that money in the next one year or six months right what is the point buying dollar if you don't have dollar dominated debits or expenses to pay but the truth of the fact here is that it will surely rise and it will surely fall down we're hoping it falls down because if it keeps on rising then we are all we're all in for something to be honest in this economy so i just feel like people should be careful and if you want to make a very quick buck right now especially dollars just write an ebook on how to buy cheap dollars or how to end in dollar like this desperation will make people want to buy that book i want to know more which i feel is almost like a scam but it's also good business to be honest so yeah that's just my thoughts on the whole thing happening right now and i just wanted to make a video for you guys so see you in my next one. Stay tuned guys.